What's up guys, I am incredibly excited to make this video. We are gonna be adding one of the coolest pieces ever to the setup today and uh, it's it's gonna change the game, man. Like I, I feel very lucky to have this. If you guys don't know, Thrustmaster have been longtime supporters and sponsors of the channel. So thank you so much to them for that. And uh, they sent me their newest piece, their newest product that just came out that's hard to get. It's, it's you know, not a lot of people have it yet, but your boy got it and that, is this bad boy right here. This is the brand new Thrustmaster SF1000 Ferrari replica wheel. All right guys, so I came out to the kitchen because we've got some better lighting and a little bit more space to spread out. I am so excited. Like I, I got this in the mail today and I've just been dying to get it open. So let's do it. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so excited about this. So if you guys don't know, my current setup has like their older version of the Ferrari replica wheel and this one just takes it to an entirely New level, own the race, baby. Hopefully this, this helps your boy out a little bit. You guys can see here, we've got the, uh, the paddle shifters for the back, we're gonna mount that on there. But this, this is what we're here for. The quality of this thing is insane. Like I, I just picked it up for the first time. This feels so much better, the fit and finish, than the wheel that I currently have. And every single button that you see on here, every dial, every switch, actually has function to it. So obviously like the big buttons, like the, the parking or neutral button here, those obviously press drink. Oh, Kimi's gonna be upset with us on that one. We've got the drink button, he doesn't. But even all of these things, so like on the old version, these were just kind of for visual purposes, they didn't move. These are all pressable as well as spinnable. So every single one of these actually serves a purpose. Even this middle Ferrari button, these little rotator things on the side, everything here actually serves a purpose and you can customize it to do different actions in game. Not to mention, you've also got an LCD screen here. Hold on, let's pull this off. Beautiful. And uh, we've even got, you know, lights and stuff on the top and on the sides. Dude, this, this is just incredible. Just gonna go ahead and screw these uh, paddle shifters on the back here. Okay, so the true test of a good wheel is gonna be the click sound. You guys ready for it? Oh, that is beautiful. I, I just, I can't, I can't take it any longer. I'm gonna go get this put on my wheelbase and I'll see you guys in the sim. Don't mind the cable chaos in the background. I've gotta reorganize this office, but uh, this right here is the original Ferrari F1 wheel from Thrustmaster that we've been using for the past few years. And I mean, it's to be honest, it's, it's great. I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's worked really well for us. I mean, it it looks super cool. The thing is, is a lot of this isn't actually usable. Of course, these, these buttons here all work and you can map them out and you even have some spinny parts, but all of this, this is just for looks. That's not an actual button, it's just plastic and a decal. So we are gonna be going out with the old and in with the new, are you kidding me? Look at this thing, dude. Look at the carbon fiber on there. Look at that beautiful LCD screen and take a look. We're in the Ferrari in the garage right now. That is literally a perfect replica of what we have in front of us. Look at this. Neutral button, drink button, parking on the top right. Look at this. Literally everything is the exact same. Now this LCD screen isn't just for looks, it's also functional. So I had to connect the wheel to my Wi-Fi network and then I connected it in game. So the game is broadcasting data and telemetry settings and, and all the feedback and stuff directly to the wheel. So whatever's happening in game is also happening on the wheel in real time. Also, like I said, literally every button serves a purpose, including these guys. So we can go through to different menus, get different information, like say I wanna check my tire temperatures or the amount of fuel that I have left. I can do that with a quick flip of a button rather than going through all the in game menus. We're out on track in Australia here and I'm planning on getting a camera set up where I can show you guys wheel cam gameplay as well as my normal face cam which is up there so just kind of mix the my team episodes up a bit. I'm one handed holding the camera in this setup so it's not going to be great but I wanted to show you guys look at this. The LED lights, when they pop up on the bottom, they also pop up in real life on screen so we can see when it's time to shift. And you guys can see again, all of the feedback in game, everything that's happening in game is also exactly happening in real life on the wheel. So sick, so 
ridiculously sick. So anyway, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little preview. Obviously, I need to spend some time with it. I need to practice with it. I need to get all my buttons mapped and everything like that. But uh, just a tiny little preview unboxing style video. And you guys will see this in the My Team series very, very soon. Like I said, I think we're gonna have some front-facing camera gameplays, but also some wheel cam gameplays, and to hopefully really kinda pick up the, the skill set this year, especially with this new wheel. So if you guys wanna find out more about the wheel, I've got a link down in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out. It is honestly incredible. Thank you so much, Thrustmaster, for sponsoring and for sending it to me. I, I can't wait. It's definitely gonna make the videos better, and I, I just can't wait to use it more. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.